Okay, first of all, let me make something very clear. This is not a U.S. versus Argentina thing. I'm really thankful oh, yeah, for the fact. Is. Is. I, I'm really thankful for the fact that this country has. A... Yeah, we don't want you here. Yes, America can have fans that will embrace black American fighters. But outside of those minority of fans, America don't back black American fighters. So you guys need to understand that for foreigners to come here to face a black American fighter is not the same for a black American fighter at home in America facing a foreign fighter. Okay? America will back a foreign fighter before they will an American fighter. And again, yes, you have fans in America that do support and embrace black American fighters. But that's a minority. Okay? That's a minority group. It's not the, that's not the vast majority. Black American fighters are usually seen as the villain in America while being the hero at the same damn time. So it annoys me when I hear people have conversations about Black American fighters not traveling. Black American fighters not fighting on the road. Well, what difference does it make? Because here in America, it's still hostile environment for the Black American fighter, depending on where he fights or she fights. Okay? We all know when it comes to Vegas, Vegas is the mecca of boxing. You know, a lot of people make their most money in Vegas. Um, the big fights are held in Vegas. And that's usually... Uh, enemy territory for black American fighters in Vegas, right? Uh, we all know Floyd Mayweather made his most money in Vegas, and that's where he was most booed. Uh, Deontay Wilder, um, on the biggest stage of his of his life, of his career, he was booed there. Devin Haney was booed. I mean, the list goes on. Okay, so just because a black American fighter don't travel doesn't mean that he's not in hostile environment in his own backyard. I heard an individual is trying his hardest to justify the hatred towards the black American fighters in America by talking about how diverse this country is, right? America, as we all know, and as you all should know, it's, it's, it's not a country where you have one race, right? We all know this. I mean, America is full of people that come from all parts of the world, right? You have your Latin, you have Africans, you have Asians, you have you know, Arabic, you have, you have basically every single race that have migrated here from all different parts of the world. And we all know that, right? Now, with that, this individual is trying to use that to justify why America should continue to hate black American fighters, right? Because people here in this country have ancestors or uh, relatives from other parts of the world. So therefore, they should they should continue this, this ongoing hatred for the black American fighter. Well, when it comes to the UK, the UK is similar to America. The UK is also a diverse country as well, right? 
they seem to be on board when it comes to whatever fighter that they have to offer from the UK. They all support that their UK fighter no matter what race that UK fighter is. The UK get behind their fighter no matter what race, color, ethnic, whatever that fighter is. So there's so you know America being a diverse country is not an excuse to have this hatred towards the black American fighter. When we're talking about the fighters that do put this country on the map when it comes to boxing. We're talking about the fighter that do runs American boxing, right? Boxing in America. When you think of American boxing, you think of a black fighter first before anything. When you think about legendary American fighters, you think about a black fighter. When you think about all time great top pound for pound fighters, you think about a black American fighter first. So this country is the mecca of boxing because of the black American fighter. But the fans, the vast majority of the fans despises the black American fighter in America. This isn't me playing the whole poor black man victim. No, I am just calling it how I see it. If I didn't see it, then it wouldn't exist. But because I see it, that means it exists. The problem still lies because people keeps ignoring it. Now, I'm not telling people in America that they must, that they must root and support the black American fighter. I'm not telling you that. But respect is another thing. If you're not doing it, if your people isn't doing it for this country, then you must respect the fighters that are doing it for this country. America is the mecca of boxing because of the black American fighter. When it comes to the talent flow worldwide, America has the best talent flow 